Maybe just gonna hold back here in case one of them decides to be cheeky and pushes through. Now there is one guy on the other side of that smoke and tagged him up. He could not see that guy and I don't think that guy could see him. Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Time is but a window and it's time for some Overwatch. As you can see here, the suspect is B hopping backwards over here towards Palace with a scout. Uh, as you can see, there are a couple guys on the CT team. Well, I think all of the guys on the CT team are at the A site running around backwards and most likely cheating. Meanwhile, the terrorists have taken the B site. The CTs are rotating over a little bit. They don't really have to. They do have bomb down, but I guess they want a little bit of action here. The suspect peeking around the corner here. Will he be able to take out one? No, he gets taken down instead. All right, we do have everything we need, though, so let's go and report this. Major disruption, aim assistance, evident beyond reasonable doubt. Vision assistance, evident beyond reasonable doubt. And other external assistance is evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for griefing, gonna go with insufficient evidence here. Let's move on to the main event. All right, guys, so here we have a real office global game. And we also have a guy in here named Hacker. As you can see, he's the top frag on the terrorist team. So I figured this would be a good time to come and check him out and see if he's actually a hacker. All right, hacker making his way over here towards the long haul. There is one guy in that smoke. Seems to catch him off guard, but Peepa is able to take him down. Hacker has repositioned over here to main hallway, watching IKZ3 take down one of the counter terrorists. Still two CTs over here at the exit. Does Hacker know if they are there? He is going to peek out. He is going to take down Adolf, and his teammate finishes off the round. On the last round of the first half, and Hacker here so far is actually looking pretty legitimate. He's going to be making his way over here towards the window hallway, and let's see what he's able to do. It looks like almost all of the counter-terrorists are over there grouping around the window area. Hacker here was able to peek out and take down one of the CTs. He is going to spot one guy out, holding that left corner. Does know that one of the CTs is in that corner. Another one going to be pushing up. He's going to start spraying right here. Hoping to get a kill, but not quite able to do so. Going to be flashing it off. And let's see if he decides to put some aggression here or if he just holds this angle. Right now, looks like he's just going to hold this angle. Taking some spam shots through that wall. Does that mean he is walling? Does he have more information than he should? I really don't think so at this time. But we'll keep watching. All right. Hacker going to be peeking out over here. He is going to spot out PLVM and finishes off the round. All right, now we're on to the pistol round of the CT side, and Hacker is making his way over here towards second hallway. He does hear one of the terrorists spamming over here towards the smoke, so he's going to try to spam back through that smoke. Of course, there are no terrorists over there where he was spamming. Looks like he's just trying to wait out this smoke right now. About to push up here, peeking it. There is another smoke down. He's going to take some shots into it just in case someone's pushed up, but no one has. All right, him and his teammates working their way up here. One of them gets taken down. He is going to spot one out over there by the computers, taking some shots, and gets absolutely annihilated. Now, this is the top frag on the terrorist team. Let's see what he looks like. Actually, we're not going to be able to see that because everyone just got killed. All right, Hacker going to be pushing his way over here towards primary hallway. Going to throw a smoke grenade down. And right now, just looking over here towards the smoke, not really aiming on anyone, kind of just aiming at the floor. One guy is creeping up on the left-hand side. It doesn't look like he knows he's there. And instead, he's going to look over towards Long Hall. All right, he's still hanging around this smoke right here. I think he wants to be cheeky and use it. Maybe he's just going to hold back here in case one of them decides to be cheeky and pushes through. Now, there is one guy on the other side of that smoke and tagged him up. He could not see that guy, and I don't think that guy could see him. That's a little bit suspicious, but maybe he had a better angle on it. Either way, Hacker here wants to push up, but as you can see, his teammate's just getting annihilated here. Gonna peek out and go down. All right, the other team after that round and the shotgun doing damage to Hacker through that smoke is calling hacks right now. So let's check out the guy that did that damage, and we'll see if he's able to do anything here. All right, the terrorists are getting awfully close to winning this game. And Skeletta still on point with this auto shot. Going to take one down. His teammate takes down one, but he gets caught off guard by the guy who comes around the other side. All right, looks like he is not wall hacking. Going to be pushing his way over here towards the last counter terrorist. Will he be able to take him down? There is a smoke there. And he's just going to shoot him through the side of that smoke. All right, Skeletta holding that one angle. Hacker watches his teammate go down to Skeletta. He's going to try to smoke him off. Pushing through and gets taken down by Sir. Meanwhile, we still have Peepa over here taking some shots. Trying to see if he can find this guy. He is going to spot one guy in this corner. He is able to take him down. One more guy in that hallway and pulls out his nade to get taken down. Wow, this is a global game. People are making some pretty big mistakes. 
Either way, Skeletta now in a 1v1 situation. Has that auto shotty and a deagle. Looks like he wants to go for that one dig. Though I think that in this situation, that shotgun would probably be a better idea. Takes the shot, whiffs the shot, and the CTs get another round. All right, let's check out Revolver. He's just got two kills. Coming around the corner, is able to dink Benz over there, but gets taken down. Let's look at Sir Joseph Stalin. Now there is one guy making his way over here towards the smoke. It seems like he's, he knows that there's a guy coming over here towards that smoke, but that guy's going to get taken down by Benzo. Meanwhile, so Joseph Stalin, going to be pushing up over here, is going to peek out, is able to spray one guy down, tries to transfer through the wall over to the other guy. All right, Sir Joseph over here on the left-hand side, just kind of waiting to see if any of the CTs decide to push through. It throws a Molotov towards them and gets naded down to 75 HP. Now, there is one guy up close. Let's see how much information he actually has. Sir Joseph Stalin has gone AFK temporarily in the middle of the round. All right, he is back. And now he finds himself in a 2v2 situation. Seems to know there's a guy behind him. Probably a call out from his teammate. Gonna be peeking out over here. Heard the footstep. Peeks out and able to take down. All right, this might be the last round of the game. Joseph Stalin over here flashing behind his teammate for him. And now looking back over here towards the primary hallway. There is spam going on through that hallway. So he's gonna throw a nade over there and reposition. All right. Sir Joseph Stalin spamming into that smoke. Does not look like he knows where anyone's at. Either way, gonna be holding this angle. Skeletta gonna come around the corner. And will Sir Joseph be able to clutch this round? Looks like they do have a hostage. They are trying to go and rescue it. And there's one guy in this corner. Takes down Sir Joseph. And the CTs get another round. You can, you can tell how broken this map is. The top frag in this global game is Skeletta, who's only using an auto shoddy because of the close angles here. All right, Skeletto over here, waiting for someone to decide to try to peek through the smoke on the left-hand side. Someone finally does, and takes down Joseph. All right, the terrorists only need one round, and it looks like they might get this one. It is a 2v3 situation. Both of the Ts have shotguns, but this is a really close-range map. Adolf is doing some work. Two more CTs heading over towards him, so I'm going to switch over to his perspective for a moment. Let's see what we find here. Oh, one guy actually making his way over here towards Skeletta. The hacker versus Skeletta right here. Who will win this fight? Skeletta takes some shots through the smoke, but he can't connect. Meanwhile, we have Adolf on the other side, takes the shot at IKZ3 and goes down. Skeletta is able to peek out, takes down Hacker, following this guy through the wall, able to take down IKZ3 and wins the game. Honestly, guys, it was a pretty good game considering it was office. I really don't know if anyone was cheating in here. I checked pretty much everyone in this game, and they all looked pretty legitimate to me. Now, as you can see at the end of this, uh, there was actually only one global, there was a bunch of Supremes on the counter-terrorist team, there was one Silver in this game, and a bunch of Eagles on the terrorist team. Now, Skeletta had the most kills with that shotgun, and he did follow people through walls a couple of times, and did shoot a couple of people through walls. He was probably the shadiest person in there, but definitely not enough evidence to say he was cheating for sure. So far, out of all of the global games that I've done in my Overwatch series, this is actually the least shady of them all, which is kind of amazing considering its office. All right, guys, back to another Overwatch. And once again, we find ourselves on Mirage, and guess what we find? The suspect here, B hopping backwards over here towards middle with a scout. Gonna peek from stairs over here, takes down Albatross, takes down Seal, and he's just gonna keep peeking this until he can take them all out. I actually think that in this game, he might be the only one that's cheating, but he is full on rage hacking. Either way, gonna be making his way over here towards the ramp, going full aggressive here, but Cat gets the one dig, steals away the kill, and the suspect is not gonna be able to pick up any more, but let's go and report him. As for the Overwatch resolution, aim assistance, evident to be on reasonable doubt. Vision assistance, evident to be on reasonable doubt, and other external assistance, evident to be on reasonable doubt. As for griefing, gonna go with insufficient evidence here. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and as always, have a great day.